हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर प्राची कुलकर्णी फर्टिलिटी कंसल्टेंट 49 फर्टिलिटी सेंटर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी व्हाट इज एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी व्हाई इट मे अकर एंड व्हाट कुड बी व्हाट शुड बी द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी व्हाट इज द रिकरेंस रिस्क एंड व्हाट टू डू आफ्टर एन एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी सो बेसिकली एक्टॉपिक मींस नॉट इन इट्स नॉर्मल पोजीशन सो एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी व्हेन वी सी इन our patients most common is the tubal ectopic pregnancy so normal position of the pregnancy is inside the uterus so the um, the fertilization happens in the tube but once the embryo is formed the embryo has to get implanted and has to derive its nutrition and grow into a baby so all that has to happen inside the uterus so this is called as the pregnancy which is in the uterus is utopic u is normal so normal position of pregnancy is in the uterus so when we call it ectopic it means anywhere outside the uterus so most common as i said is in the tubes fallopian tubes so tubal ectopic pregnancy if you have undergone any previous cesarean section or any hysterectomy or any myomectomy wherein the uterus has a scar so there can be a chance of scar ectopic pregnancy so other than that the other positions of ectopic pregnancy can be ovarian pregnancy uh, very rarely it can be an abdominal ectopic pregnancy sometimes cervical pregnancy these are the uh, different uh, types of ectopic pregnancy so now we'll talk about the most common one which is tubal ectopic pregnancy so why the ectopic pregnancy commonly occurs in the tube because tube is the natural a, a natural uh, place so tube are the natural where the egg and sperm meet in the body so fertilization happens inside the tube once the ovary releases the egg egg is picked up by the tube and after intercourse the sperm which are deposited in the vagina travel through the uterus to the tube and fertilize the egg which is present in the tube so tube has ideal conditions in the body which is uh, a little higher level of carbon dioxide lower level of oxygen and 37 degrees temperature so all these are favorable conditions for fertilization to happen so that is why the fertilization happens in the tube that means the embryo starts forming in the tube suppose because of some infection or previous surgeries or endometriosis or tuberculosis if the tube inner diameter is reduced in some places where is a constriction in the tube or there might be bleeding in the tube or circulations in the tube what happens is this transport of the embryo back to the uterus now is not proper so the the pregnancy might get implanted in the tube itself so what happens is the developing pregnancy uh, tries to invade into the layers of the tube how it does in the uterus to get support to grow for the 9 months to derive the nutrition so same thing it tries to do inside the tube and because the tube is a very delicate structure it doesn't have too much of a muscle layer it may not be able to contain it so what happens sometimes is this tube initially will get distended and later on at after some point it may rupture so what happens if the tube tubal pregnancy ruptures so there can be torrential bleeding which might be life threatening as well uh, sometimes we see patients with 2 liters of a uh, blood collection inside the abdomen when we operate for ruptured ectopic pregnancy so this is the reason why we should be aware of ectopic pregnancy because it can lead to torrential bleeding which can cause uh, a serious emergency and you may have to undergo an emergency surgery sometimes even the blood transfusions and it can also be a life threatening thing if the blood loss is too much and it's not detected in time so what are the symptoms of ectopic pregnancy so most common symptom uh, can be a missed period but sometimes even patients come do not have history of missed period they may just have little less flow compared to their previous cycles in this cycle and they are, may not be aware that they are pregnant so upt positive or beta hcg positive with missed periods with abdominal pain sudden giddiness sudden attacks of dizziness and fainting at home or uh, shoulder pain all these are symptoms or sometimes even vaginal spotting bleeding these are the symptoms of ectopic pregnancy so which patients are at higher risk of having an ectopic pregnancy so ectopic pregnancy is usually uh, because it's happening in the damaged fallopian tubes the patients who have had previous pelvic surgeries 
previous first of all previous ectopic pregnancy is the first leading cause of recurrence of ectopic pregnancy any previous uh, tubal surgeries or any previous pelvic surgeries uh, any infections like pids stds chlamydial infection gonorrheal infections which are sexually transmitted these infections can be the cause for the ectopic pregnancy sometimes if you have a cavity inside your uterus the pregnancy cannot get implanted in the uterus and may happen it in the tubes so these are the causes of ectopic pregnancy so basically damaged fallopian tubes due to any reason previous surgeries previous infections even endometriosis all these are the risk factors in fact smoking also is a risk factor for ectopic pregnancy in the tube so what is the treatment for ectopic pregnancy there are ways to treat ectopic pregnancy based on when we have diagnosed it so if your pregnancy gestational period or the time of of pregnancy is less like around 5 weeks or 6 weeks and that this ectopic pregnancy doesn't have a heartbeat then your doctor may suggest you to go for medical management of ectopic pregnancy the the doctor might suggest you some blood test might admit you for observation because if the rupture happens then it's a emergency situation so uh, like if your med uh, if your vitals are stable blood pressure pulse everything is stable your reports are normal then doctor may admit you and give you medical management of ectopic pregnancy when do we go for surgical management of ectopic it can be either ruptured ectopic pregnancy or it can be failed medical management of ectopic pregnancy or it can be a live ectopic pregnancy where we see the heartbeat also in the ectopic pregnancy so these are ways to manage ectopic pregnancy so please be vigilant if you are missing your periods and if you have any of these risk factors get your urine pregnancy test done as early as possible get your beta hcg done as early as possible and please see your fertility consultant to diagnose the ectopic pregnancy in time so we can save the uh, surgical emergency in such a situation thank you so much